Uh, when you're not uh, dispensing advice on strategic arms and uh, national security, all of which I find uh, extremely fascinating and, uh, and uh, uh, beneficent, um, you're writing best-selling novels and short stories. Um, are the, how do the two professions go together in your mind, or do you segregate them somehow? Oh, they don't go together. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. But uh, I just want to say that you, you had Bill Bennett on here. I was standing watching, for, and he mentioned how he had been the vice presidential pick here, there, and everywhere. Um, uh, part of which in the Dole campaign, I was very... You were speechwriting, yes. Well, no, or, I, in the Dole campaign, I, I went to Dole, and we spent an afternoon and settled on Bill Bennett, and mm. Bill knows that. But um, I just want oh, to... You were, you were present at the creation. Oh, yeah, or for, for the, would be. I, I pushed him for that. Uh, but I just want to say that there was a helper in the presidential boomlet uh, in the ninth grade. Uh, but, and I was elected, but then I was impeached. So, so your taste of power That's, turned bitter? After that, I decided to go into literature. <laughs> and you've done so beautifully and successfully. Yeah. Uh, what are you working on now? Well, I have a, a new novel that's coming out in uh, the fall of 2012. And, called? Uh, it's called In Sunlight and in Shadow. And it's about New York right after the war and during the war. When I say the war, it shows my age, which mm -hmm. is 65. Uh, I mean the Second World War. Uh, it's about the 40s, which is the, the first decade that I remember. Mm -hmm. and I remember it very well. And who's publishing it? Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Excellent. We look forward to it. Thank you, Mark Halperin. Oh, you're very welcome, Charles.